Okay, so here we have this children's board book that I'm going to be working with. And this little book came from the dollar store. I paid a dollar for it. It has uh, a total of four pages, which will be eight layouts. And we're going to start by taking some sandpaper and just roughing up all of the surfaces a little bit. Just go over every page, rough it up with some sandpaper. And the reason we're doing that is to create some friction on the, the glossy pages so your paint will stick to them better when we get to that step. Okay then, the next step, we're going to go over this book and we're going to paint every page on the two covers with acrylic gesso. Uh, this was Liquid X brand, I don't think the brand matters, um, but I'm using the white gesso. So you just um, do that and do that on every page and both the covers. Give it as many coats of gesso as it needs to hide whatever is on the bottom and allow to dry in between coats. Once your gesso has dried, the next step might be to paint uh, with craft paint the pages and um, covers. I've given a very light coat of, of a pale cream, creamy color. And then, if you'll notice, I've punched a small hole in this, in this side of the cover. And I'm going to punch a matching hole on the other side of the cover. I did this using a Japanese screw punch. So I'll just show you how easy it is with this little gadget. I'm eyeballing this about halfway down or maybe half an inch in. And there we have it. A hole in both sides. And ultimately we will be threading our ribbon through that. This is the completed um, board book. It has a St. Patrick's Day theme. The title is These Are the Good Times. It's made as a gift for an eight-year-old boy on St. Patrick's Day and I've made it as a photo album. So here's the first layout, photographs. The second layout, the little envelope. I've made it out of vellum. It contains a St. Patrick's Day poem. The next layout, the final layout, heavy on glitter. The back co cover it says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. And of course, I will tie the yarn together.